Hey guys, I gotta make this quick. My battery's dying. But I was listening to this podcast today, Practical Backpacking Podcast. He did an episode, an interview with Brian Frankel of ULA Equipment, which is ultralight adventure equipment. And Brian talked all about backpacks, how to purchase one, how to get it fitted, how to actually pick it up. Because if you keep um, with your right hand picking up the right strap with your big heavy pack, it could um, put undue stress and wear and tear on the seams of that right hand strap, you know what I mean? So he advises to pick it up by the center hall handle, the, the one at the top, pick it up, put it on your knee, then kind of slide each arm in. Then he talks about attaching the waist strap first and then the shoulders, tightening your shoulder straps. He talks about those load bearing straps at the top, on the top of your shoulders, which is really interesting. But this was fascinating, I couldn't believe it. He, this is a method, I don't know this, maybe you guys know this, how to figure out how many cubic inch pack do you need or cubic centimeter pack do you need. He said, take all your stuff that you're going to use on your trip or maybe just in general, what you use on your daily hikes or your weekend uh, trips you go on or your week long trips and put them in a box. Okay. And I put, I've actually started packing for my trip this summer and you know, a lot of my stuff's in here. Um, some stuff I just got today and some things are representative. Like I'm pretending this is my guidebook. Or um, in this, I'm pretending is my maps. You know, just something uh, representative of the kinds of things I'm going to bring on my trip, right? So put everything in the box. Put everything in the box. I have ditty bags and I got pants and underwear and socks and rain gear and everything in here. And kind of mat it down. Not too hard, okay? And then take a box, lid or something, and put it over here. Uh, how are you going to see that? Okay, do it like this. So you're going to kind of get a cubic inch measurement of this stuff. Okay, so you put it in, and I'm going to draw a line at the top of this. Okay. You got to trust me. Okay, so I'm kind of flattening it down. I'm going to draw a line. Okay? <laughs> right there. Okay? So now we all know this, this math, length times width times height equals area. Okay? So now I'm going to take the length and the width and the height, and I'm going to put all those measurements in. That measurement's five. All right, so this is what I come up with. Uh, my length was 19, my width was 21 and a half, my height is 5, this is all in inches. So I'm just going to use my iPhone, let's go. 19 times 21.5 equals times 5 equals. Right now this is telling me I need 2,000 cubic inches of pack to accommodate all this stuff. Isn't that amazing? So if you do this, you can get um, a general idea of what size pack that you're going to need for your stuff um, for purchase purposes, okay? So anyway, I, I thought that was interesting. I hope you guys found it interesting. All right, we'll see y'all.